I got to watch the Mario movie, and I already did the intro in part one, so why do it again? So, when this was happening in the cinema, it was pretty funny to me, and it got a pretty good chuckle out of me. At the most important part, seems like my dad's mind thought it would be the perfect opportunity to sleep in between the movie. And it's going to be hard to visualise at first, but I'll be kind, and I'll visualise it for you. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Do the good guys win? Now, obviously, it says wrong. But he missed the Peaches song! The most spectacularest, awesomest part in a movie, ever. With second in place being the Super Mario Brothers rap, of course. I remember when this came on, I was just singing with the Mario Brothers. When my sister just hit me. So later on in the car when we were going home, I asked my sister, why'd you hit me in the cinema? Because I know that mistakes can happen, and I know that it wasn't a mistake. What? Then why you be hitting me? And she told me that while I was singing, supposedly the other side of the theatre hated me for this. This is unbelievable. Well, you never know, Dia. What if they really liked my singing, huh? How about you think about that? If they really hated it, they probably would have just thrown rotten tomatoes at me! Ah! And in the very cinema, Naren's horrible rap took place. Four fans. Sophia TV Cat. Life of an Onion. I don't know, maybe. And, of course, Upside Down Onion. Unleashed a tomato war. Laughter turned into rivalry. And veggies became weapons. From friends to fans, the war spread. Years passed, but the fight endured, leaving a legacy of violent but delicious memories in their hearts. <laughs> also, after the movie, my mom had a headache from the music. So, overall, this movie was pretty good, in my opinion of a good movie. I'm hoping that the next video won't take five years to upload, because I still have a lot planned. But other than that, bye, and I'll see you soon.